During a press conference on Monday at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Foreign Secretary Robert Passat said the Diaspora Conference will facilitate constructive dialogue in keeping with President Irfan Ali's promise to aggressively pursue the involvement of the Diaspora in national development. He said the conference seeks to provide a platform of exchange between the government and the diaspora, while at the same time clarifying that it is not intended to offer any preference to the diaspora, but rather equal opportunities. Yes, I think um, many of us have gotten conference fatigue, uh, but we don't want this. This is just a, not another conference. This is a conference. The fact that you have the president, the vice president, several ministers of government addressing key and key topics as well as topics pertinent to the diaspora um, is intended to have one with specific outcome and one that will inform government policy and interaction. Through the conference, hundreds of persons will be placed in the virtual space and hold discussions on a range of issues including remigration, tourism, trade, investment prospects, youth engagement opportunities and philanthropy. The conference will see the participation of President Ali as a featured guest. He will also be joined by Vice President Barachak Dio and several government ministers, including the Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, Minister of Finance, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, and the Minister of Housing and Water, among others. Other agencies like the Guyana Revenue Authority, the Guyana Office for Investment, the Private Sector Commission and the Guyana Tourism Authority will also participate. With 500 groups and individuals from across the diaspora already registered, the diaspora unit at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation said registration will close when 1,000 persons have been registered. The head of that unit, Rosalinda Rasool, said while groups in Guyana will be part of the conference, the majority of registration came from the United States and Canada. Groups in the United Kingdom have also shown great interest, Rasool said. But I can assure you, post-conference, uh, uh, the 22nd of May, you're actually going to see a rollout of quite a lot of initiatives and engagement with the diaspora unit and the, the different diaspora groups. We have had, over the past few months, extensive meetings with various diaspora groups and diasporans on an individual level to talk about what are their interests are, what their concerns are, and how best they see this relationship actually playing out. With a 100% buying, Rasool explained that prior to the conference, the unit has been engaging groups globally to advance the government's diaspora development agenda. It is through these prior engagements that the unit was able to detect interest in the diaspora and will use the conference to start the level of engagement needed. Issues and concerns raised by the groups will also be addressed. This unit will be primarily responsible for the implementation and monitoring of Guyana's diaspora policy. In keeping with the theme of the conference, a new era of engagement for the Guyanese diaspora, the unit has been working to develop the necessary framework to allow for structured and sustained engagement with the diaspora. The conference, which is regarded as an example of such engagement, seeks to introduce the new policy and unit, provide a platform for the sharing of information, and generally reassure the diaspora of the government's commitment to ensuring diaspora engagement in national development.